Well, hello. Um, here I'm going to give you a demo on how I work on fingers and the technique that I use with the graphite powder and the lifter and the highlighter. Uh, this is about, uh, I would say, quarter of a way into uh, production. Uh, there's still much to to do on this piece. As you can see, the the, the earrings and the skin pretty much have uh, more tones to go to. But I'm going to concentrate on the hand, and I am going to uh, demonstrate for you how I apply the coats of graphite and how I lift and how I highlight. So it's like painting, like I said before. So here is my powder, which is the blend of uh, different degrees of graphite that I have uh, blended together, uh, particularly for faces. This is not just a bunch of graphite sticks that I threw together and came up with that idea. No, these have been blended with different degrees of softness and hardness and uh, to give me the degrees that I need for easy application. This is all designed with one purpose, to make my work easier, more professional looking, and more beautiful. I want easy, I don't want to break my head, I don't want to, I want to enjoy this, I want to enjoy what I'm doing, you know, I want to, let me go back to it, I want to have fun, and this will give you an idea of how I apply the graphite. My cat is right below me, so she's watching me. Um, you have to understand the light and where the light is coming from and as it rounds up it darkens and then catches whatever other features you have there and, and it will project onto whatever surface you have next to or underneath and you can see right there that through the fingers right through that finger it's a crack and it's, it's, it's all a matter of understanding it's all a matter of understanding the light and the shadows and where to lay in and etc so we got that there and I'm going to go ahead and use let me see uh, I'm going to use a 2D pencil which is made by uh, Castell and it's the Castell 9000 Jumbo. These are great. I really enjoy using these pencils. They're big, the, the lead is thick and it's really good quality. Uh, pencils that they they do well they've been around forever understandably so but I highly recommend these pencils I really love them so after you added a layer of uh, graphite powder you will come with your graphite pencil and will begin to add a bit of deeper volume to the area which will allow you to separate the finger from the forehead and the only way to do this with this technique is with a very sharp pencil see that? I use a paper 
Remember that we talked about this? I used a paper to uh, separate my hand from my work because fingers have oils. There's a hair in there from the brush. Fingers have oils. And you don't want to transfer oils from your greasy hands, your clummy paws, into your artwork. I see artists that go, look, look my hand. Look how black it is. Look at my fingers. They're all black. So what? That's unprofessional and that's totally uncalled for. You will never, ever, ever have any contact whatsoever with your hand and your artwork. Natural oils for once will transfer to your work and they will create spots. You don't want that. You don't want that at all. This is realistic drawing but I don't want my work to look like a photograph. All the hyper realism and all that. Oh wow, is that a photo? Is that a painting? Is that a photo? Ah. If I have to be asking if this is a drawing or if this is a photograph, something gets lost in translation. Photos are for cameras to take. Drawings and paintings are for humans to make. Artists. I don't want my drawing to be confused for a photograph, ever. I don't want my painting to be confused for a photograph, ever. I'm going to give you enough information on my work and I will leave the rest for you to process. That's the beauty of art. The beauty of art is to give the viewer enough information and allow them to go on a journey of discovery and wonder. That's what art is all about. Appreciation. But I don't want my artwork to look like a photo. I leave that for, photo for cameras. You see? The pencil is your best ally. With the pencil you will be able to blend as well as with a brush but in a more concrete and tidy setting. As you can see that I'm doing here. See? That's quite lovely, actually, you know? I'm going to go ahead and mark the limit, which is the, the further darkest shadow to separate the fingers from each other and this is how I do it see little by little it makes like a scratchy noise but it's all good you see beautiful now We're going to go to the lifter, which is right here. The lifter is the powder that will give you glow and texture. So, blending slowly over the graphite that you lay first with the brush and then with the pencil 
in circular or up and down motions, whichever works for you best. I do like this and I do like this. And it's, it's all pretty much up to you, where you feel more, what comes more natural to you. That's what I think it should be. Um, I want easy but I don't want for that matter half quality because I just want it easier no I want excellent quality I just want it easier I want to achieve a quality professional drawing or painting but I don't want to break my neck while I'm at it and I want instant results And these powders will give you that. Look at that glow. It's just absolutely beautiful. Come close to the tip. Blend and let go. Just beautiful. I think you're getting the idea here of, of what I'm uh, trying to show you. Uh, blend. Following the design of the knuckles. See? I can make this, <coughs> excuse me, I can make this like really, really detailed and realistic. But I don't want that. I want art that's beautiful to look at and I want to give you uh, a little bit of a homework to do. You look at the artwork, you get lost in it. Enjoy it. Discover it. I don't want to give you everything. It's boring. How boring is that? Boom, there it is. All of it. It's pretty much like a, like a woman that is beautifully dressed to a woman that's half naked. I mean, what's more beautiful? Of course, a more beautiful thing would be a woman impeccably dressed than one exposing everything. You want a little bit of mystery. You want a little bit of magic. That's beautiful. And that's what I'm trying to do here. See that? With each application, the more that it glows. Let me get the brush and um, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. Just brush away some of that powder. This is a process. A process that requires layers, different applications. And with each application, the more beautiful it becomes. I'm going to come over here now and begin to let the lifter travel a little bit inside that area right there so it won't be so see the line just moves softly Troubles in. You can do all kinds of highlights. You can add white. You can add pastel. You can add whatever. But you will be only adding white to a dark surface. What this lifter does, it conditions and textures 
the surface see that and it gives you a texture that you will not have by simply applying white or a lighter uh, pencil or just white it won't happen because what this does it lifts away graphite it gives you texture and also provides you with a surface that will uh, welcome the highlight more evenly see see how the light just goes in, in, into into that section how beautiful is that and you cannot obtain that with just white you cannot obtain it not as not as pretty as this okay I'm going to use a pointy bristle brush that I I buy the brushes and then I trim with a little pair of scissors according to my need and I made that one pointy so I can go into the little details so I'm going to show you that next here we go pack it in see that right there you got a little bit of speck of light just enough enough to tell you oops look that's where the light is hitting and then further down the line when I do other tutorials I am going to do eyes I am going to do hair I am going to take more time but for now I said that I will give you a taste of what the application of the powder graphite and the lifter and the highlight can do to your drawings I hope you enjoyed it see you soon and thank you